Hi, it's me, Miss Jody, and I'm going to read you Wednesday is Spaghetti Day by Marianne Coco Leffler. Do you ever wonder what your pet cats do when you leave them home alone? Let's find out. It is Wednesday, and for the Tremont family, it was just another day. But for their cat, Katrina, it was not a regular day at all. Katrina paced impatiently while everyone ate their breakfast. No one could be late today, for today was Wednesday, and Wednesday is spaghetti day. And of course, all of Katrina's cat friends were coming for lunch. Poor kitty, home alone again, finally. As Katrina cleaned up after breakfast, her friends began to arrive. The kids will be home at three o'clock, she warned. So the cats got right to work preparing lunch. As Scruffy made the salad and Ruby set the table, Freckles dashed in, slamming the door behind him. Sorry I'm late, said Freckles. The kids made me play house with them again. Freckles quickly took off his bonnet and booties and got to work. The cats continued cooking. Looks like fun. And soon their long awaited Italian lunch was ready. They sang and they danced and toasted each other. It was wonderful. None of the cats could remember having such a feast, but just as they were about to eat their Spumoni ice cream, the clock struck three and a school bus pulled up from the corner. Ding, ding, ding. Oh no. Remember, whispered with Ruby, it is my house tomorrow for Mexican food. When the kids returned, it was just like any other day. Katrina walked away, fluffing her tail. No cat food for me, she thought. Tomorrow is another day. For tomorrow is Thursday. Ole, ole! And Thursday is guacamole day. Do you ever wonder what your pet cats do when you leave them alone? I know I do. Bye.